Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are making um, another uh, Indian vegetarian recipe. And before I talk about this recipe, I'd just like to open this in brackets because I know I'll get asked this question at some point. So I'd like to answer it before I even get asked the question. Um, why I cook a lot of vegetarian uh, recipes and I don't really cook uh, a lot of meat. So for starters, we have uh, some family members in this household that are vegetarian, so we have to cater to those as well. And we also, um, as a family in general, we're not really uh, meat consumers. We don't really eat uh, a lot of meat. We have it very rarely, very occasionally. So um, I would also like to just explore the, the Indian vegetarian cuisine because it is so rich and there are so many variations and so versatile and also delicious so um yeah we'll close this and today's recipe it's uh black eyed peas and um i just would like to point this out it's one of my favorite recipes and could be the only way i'll ever eat beans because i'm not really a fan of beans since it's really the texture that just throws me off usually it's hard or mushy and it's just not pleasant for me like the texture is not pleasant for me at all but this i would highly uh, recommend making it i would eat this uh, a lot I really don't mind it's delicious it's spicy and it just comes together in very little time it's super quick and easy to make so let's show you guys how so to before we prepare any other ingredients we're going to just uh, start uh, on the peas and let them cook so the here we have one cup of black eyed peas uh, that we've let it soak for a minimum of four hours here we have four cups of water and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric So uh, we've placed our black eyed peas into the pressure cooker and we're going to add the water as well as the turmeric. So we're just going to mix it gently to let the turmeric incorporate into uh, everything. So we're going to close it and we're going to put it on medium heat uh, until you hear six whistles. I call them whistles, but until the pressure cooker makes six of that, uh, those annoying sounds. So we're going to place it on medium heat and while it cooks, um, we're going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. So as you can see, it has cooked and now we're going to just turn it off the heat and we'll let it uh, just uh, put it aside and move on to our For next. For the rest of our ingredients, here we have two medium finely uh, chopped onions, two medium tomatoes that we've blended, about two tablespoons of regular oil, some salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of garam masala, two chilies, um, one tablespoon ginger garlic paste, just a handful of um, uh, coriander, and here we have uh, half a teaspoon each cumin, uh, cumin chili powder and coriander powder and for our dry spices here we have um, our whole spices here we have a uh, half a teaspoon cumin seeds half a teaspoon mustard seeds five cloves one block cardamom one uh, small cinnamon stick and two dried red so on medium heat we're going to put the oil into our pan and we'll let it heat up for a bit so once the oil has heated up now we're going to put in our whole spices and we're going to saute these until you hear the popping sound. So I've started hearing the faint popping sounds. Now uh, we're going to add in the onion. To the onions, we're also going to be adding the chilies and we're going to saute them until the onion is nice and transparent. So now we're going to add the ginger garlic paste. And we're just going to saute that in there until you don't smell that raw garlic smell anymore. So uh, after, uh, I no longer smell that uh, raw garlic smell, so now we're adding in the, the coriander powder, the chili powder, and the cumin. And we're going to saute them, but make sure to not burn them. So once you saute in the spices, you're going to add the salt. Also going to be adding in the pepper. So uh, after adding in the pepper, we're going to add in the tomatoes and we're going to just saute everything together. So we're going to saute them uh, in all together until you see the oil start to flow to the surface. So uh, after you see the oil start to flow to the surface, now we're going to be adding in the black eyed peas with the water and everything.
So um, now uh, we just mixed it and uh, we tested for salt. So in case it's missing, so we'll just add uh, salt depends on your preference, of course. And now we're going to cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. So it's been about five minutes. Now uh, we're just going to take uh, the lid off. And as you can see, everything is nice and well cooked. It smells amazing. So now we're going to add the garam masala. and give it a gentle mix and we're also going to be adding in the coriander mixing it all together and then uh, let it uh, cook for five more minutes and it's ready to be served so uh, this is what it looks like once we've served it um, it looks really nice and it just I can't wait to try it. It smells amazing. We're serving it with some chapati and I can't wait to dig. The flavors are amazing. It is spicy and it just it it's really great because I am very skeptical about beans. I don't really like beans because the texture really puts me off. It's either too hard or too mushy, but this, this is perfect. And you have all those great spices and it makes it smell amazing and it tastes even better than it smells. So it's amazing and it's super easy and quick to make. So uh, I highly recommend making this. So this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you like this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below and follow me um, on my social media so you guys can support me to make more content. I'm available on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.